Here's one of our 331 Ford Stroker engine, turnkey engines from CobraEngines.com here. We're going to show you how we hook up our uh, wiring for the uh, Ertronics distributors that we uh, supply with our engines. It's a very simple hookup. We already have, there's just a red wire. It's already hooked up for you from the Ertronics distributor. That's on, already comes to you on the positive terminal of the ignition coil and then the black wire off of the distributor is already on there for you on the negative side of the coil. Now the only wiring that you will have to do is you're going to have to supply one wire with an eyelid on there, screw it onto the positive terminal of the ignition coil and that wire all it needs is 12 volts of key activated ignition power on and off your ignition key to uh, start the engine. So the only wiring that you have to do is one wire to the plus side of the ignition coil that has 12 volts key activated power. The negative side of the coil that's where you can hook up the tachometer wire for the RPM tack that you'll hook up. And that's it. The uh, timing is already set with our timing light but if for some reason you need to uh, set any timing. I'm going to show you how we do it and how to properly do it. So basically the Petronics distributors have a vacuum advance hose on there. Uh, what we'll do is I'm going to start the engine up and we're going to get the idle at the lowest setting that the engine can run probably around you know 800 RPMs and I'm going to pull the vacuum advance hose off of the vacuum advance. We'll loosen up the distributor hold down clamp and with the timing light with the clamp set on number one cylinder right here on the passenger side front we're gonna go over to the timing scale right here with the timing light flashing right here is the timing scale and I'm gonna turn the distributor housing uh, to the ignition timing we set with the ignition timing what we do is we turn the distributor until the reading is flashing on the balancer, there will be numbers on the balancer, and when that reading gets to 15 degrees before top dead center, then we'll tighten down the distributor hold down clamp, and then what we do is then after the initial timing is set at 15 degrees before top dead center, we'll rev the engine up to 3000 RPMs, and with the initial timing and the centrifugal weight timing combined together, the reading usually where it's around 32 to 34 degrees of ignition timing. And that's perfect. That's where we set them and that's where these engines run best. And then basically we just reconnect the vacuum advance hose and the ignition timing is set. So we're just going to uh, actually start the engine up and I'm going to disconnect the vacuum advance hose and I'm going to show you with the timing light you'll see it flashing at 15 degrees. Now on the Ford engines, the rotor turns counterclockwise, so if you want to advance the timing, you'll turn the distributor the opposite, clockwise. If you want to retard the ignition timing, you'll turn it counterclockwise. So we'll start it up and just demonstrate how we have it set, and I'm going to rev the engine to 3000 RPMs and show you that 34 degrees of timing. So it's pretty simple, and again, the engines all come to you with the timing already set and all the adjustments made but this is just for a demonstration to show you how it's done alright we just started it up we already have it set at 15 but I'm going to show you disconnect the vacuum advance hose 